Have you ever played with a helium balloon? Do you know why the balloon floats upwards in the air? Why do certain things float and others sink? Floating or sinking depends on the density of the object and the fluid in which it is placed. Density is defined as mass per unit volume. If the object's density is less than the density of the fluid it is put in, the object floats. If the object's density is more than the density of the fluid it is put in, the object sinks. Let us see an experiment with two different solids in two different liquids. For this we need water and glycerin, plastic balls and lemons. Gently set the plastic ball in the water beaker and observe. It floats. Now place the plastic ball in the glycerin beaker. Again the ball floats. Now try the same with the lemon. First put it in the beaker of water. It sinks. Next, put it in the glycerine beaker. It floats. From this experiment, we can see that the density of the plastic ball is less than both water and glycerine, but the density of the lemon is more than that of water, but less than that of glycerine. It thus shows us that the density of glycerine is more than that of water. Does your body float or sink in water? It sinks because the body's density is more than water. Yet in the Dead Sea, the body only floats. Can you think why?